I had a really interesting comment from Mary and she has said uh, her biggest challenge right now with sewing she says one of her brain weasels is kind of related to the ones I've done you've done I've done um, kind of its own thing um, my weasel of, she says her worst haters and critics definitely live inside her own brain she says um, my brain weasels like to question the worthwhileness of projects I do for myself it's less of an issue when I'm commissioned to make dresses or hats or veils for clients but making pretty things for myself like my contest entry sometimes comes with why do you bother thoughts that no one will get what I'm trying to do that it's silly to give time and resources to myself that if I'm trying to learn a new skill on a personal project I'm never going to be as good as fill in the blank of somebody else who does that really well so how do you give time to make things for yourself? This is, um, I think this is a, an issue that so many of us have, that we're, we get to a point where we're making things for other people, whether it's professionally or whether it's just, whether you just always find yourself making things for family and friends, and you never quite get around to making all of those things you want to make for yourself. And I'm certainly... Um, guilty of this I have been in my own in my own work so how do you give yourself some time you know there's a there's a bigger issue here isn't there how do we give ourselves a permission to do things for ourselves that's a whole a whole huge issue about being your own best friend and about taking time for yourself and about looking after yourself about I I I kind of trick myself into doing it by because it's so difficult, particularly, particularly for women. We're taught so much to be there for everybody else, and to put ourselves last. And it's it's an ongoing huge thing that I'm not going to fix in you know a five minute video. It's an ongoing issue in so many areas of our lives. When when and how do we give ourselves time? Here's how I do it. I split myself in half. Um, it's almost as if when I feel when I haven't given myself enough time or enough self care, I find that I kind of shrivel a bit and start to get um, very tired and frustrated and um, anxious and down on myself and. You know, I just turn into a little ball of anxiety and depression and all those horrible negative feelings. And I feel almost like I become a child in a way. I become a, an unhappy child. And that's when I realise I need to almost kind of split myself in half and take that unhappy child part of me and step back and look at it as if I was my own parent in a way and say what do I need right now okay stop what do we re need right now and I kind of have sort of cultivated that almost parenting myself persona okay what do we re need right now Kathy do we need to eat you know this is <laughs> something my my ex-partner used to used to say to me when I started to get um, grumpy she would be like do we need to get you something to eat? <laughs> so it's almost like you need to parent yourself into being kind to yourself. You know, it's like um, being your own best friend is uh, another version of it that, that, that a good friend used to say to me. And you know, that's so difficult to give ourselves permission to do. And that's a process. You need to learn to do that for yourself. In the meantime, the trick I would think of to sort of trick yourself into making things for yourself, it's almost like you need a hook to make yourself do it whilst you're getting to the point where you can learn to be kind to yourself think of it this way you have lots of clients right now Mary who you're making dresses hats and veils for how do you know whether your clients are getting a good experience unless you test your own services so think of it like uh, my experience with Foundations Revealed, I'm building a new website at the moment, and in order to make sure that site works properly, I have to test it. I have to go through 
and buy a membership and test that the process works and test that the members are going to have a good experience when they come onto that new website. I need to test it as a client. So think of it that way. If you want to make something for yourself, you get to be your own test client. You get to figure out whether you, if you treated yourself as a proper client and you had a, you know, a contract and you had, you set expectations for when this thing's going to be done. If you treated yourself as one of your clients, why not, you know, mystery shop yourself and test what the process is like from a client's point of view. That would be the way that I would uh, sort of, sort of, well, trick is a, is a kind of negative word in a way, but sort of to trick yourself into giving yourself that time and care. Treat yourself as you would a client. I hope that helps. So, my name's Kathy Hay. I'm interested in the comments. Tell me, what is your biggest challenge or frustration with your sewing right now? That's what I'm trying to do in these videos, is just give us not just the actual sewing instructions like we do in Foundations Revealed, but what are the bigger issues? Because a lot of the time, you know, it's 99% in your head whether you do a good job of a project or not. So I'm trying to deal with these emotional and mental issues. So tell me what your biggest frustration or challenge is right now. And stay inspired and go and do some sewing this week.